You see that impressive trinket right there? It's a walleye. That is a sander vitreous. That is not a greenback, but that is a walleye that it will be found on Lake Winnipeg. I'm going to teach you guys in this video how to catch one of those things. Stay tuned. Whew. Okay, testing auto focus. Got a new camera yesterday and I've been just fiddling with it. It's so nice that this one finally has autofocus. So it'll be very, very easy to showcase these lures here to in today's video. And uh, yeah, I was pretty excited when I first tested it out. Guys, if you want to become a performer, I'm going to have to. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. And in this one, we're going to be talking about my favorite lures to use on Lake Winnipeg, my home body of water. Now, these lures are basically what I've been using for the longest time in the South Basin, specifically, so in the Balsam Bay, Lakeshore Heights area. Um, that's where I've found success with these lures. And uh, I mean, it may be different in different parts of the lake, but this is more talking from what I've, from what I've learned, but it'll probably be fairly same throughout the whole lake. I uh, would mean the South Basin. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the first one. Oh, it's prickly in my hands. Oh, oh. Category numero uno, spoons. Alrighty guys, so first one on the list is the spoons. Now, there are a couple different kinds of spoons here. Let me just hold them up. So these here, all three are buckshot spoons. Now they are in different sizes here. Starting off with this bad boy right here. This is the Northland Buckshot Rattle Spoon, and this is in the 1 8 ounce green perch. Now, this lure has caught quite a bit of fish. Now, like I said, it's an 8th ounce, not crazy big, it's pretty light. Preferably use this on a medium to medium light rod. Tip it with a minnow head, usually the minnow head, doesn't matter what barb, and uh, that'll do you the magic. This one here too, if you're maybe fishing in deeper water, this is about an ounce of the buckshot spoon this is in the fire tiger this one's a little heavy but if you're fishing in deeper water and you're going for that one big one like if you're trying to go for that 28 30 incher this would be the way to go and like i said before too just tipping with the middle head and uh yeah fire tiger is usually one of my go-to's as far as lures um i'll use a fire tiger in murkier water and i'll use more of a natural presentation in clear water but lake winnipeg being a very murky lake i will be a, most commonly using the fire tiger just something that stands out a lot Last but not least, this is the Glow Shot Spoon, and this is in the Glow Perch, and this being a quarter ounce. Now, in the middle part here, there would be a little piece of, like, the glow, the glow in it, but my glow strip is no longer in there, but I mean, still, it's a nice, nice color spoon. Uh, this is one of my more favorite colors. The green, I always find works great on, like, a pig. And once again, too, if you're just tipping this with a minnow head, lightly jigging it on medium, medium light rod, I mean... As soon as the fish comes in, you can kind of either slow down the presentation or speed up a little bit. But... Kid, what are you doing? And uh, yeah, that's where that spoon would come handy. So these three spoons here, these are my top three picks. I mean, Northland in general, I love their spoons. I've used some PKs. I've used just the normal Len Thompson in a small size, but I find these work the best for me personally. And uh, yeah, if you're just jigging it on a simple medium, medium light rod, um, you can use this open water. Just prefer to use it uh, ice fishing and um, yeah some presentations you can erratically uh, have it up and down or you can uh, just have it slow and subtle if that fish is coming in I find the fish will always have the reaction strike when you pause it for a second and uh, yeah that's why I love spoons spoons are one of the go-to's I need soundproof walls. Numero dos, no. Uh, I don't know. Number two. Boom. Oh. Got the most important part. Oh, oh, oh. Boom. The Northland Rippin' Shads. If you haven't already been able to tell, big, big Northland guy. Anyway, so these bad boys are rattle baits. They come in a couple of sizes, a couple different colors. This is the Glow Perch, and this is the Glow White Tiger. The Glow White Tiger having the red eye, this one here just having the normal eye. Um, I upsize the trebles on these things, and what I'll do is I'll have a snap on there too. So if I take the snap off, and I'll put actually a minnow head through the snap, and I'll clamp it back on, that way it is going to be very hard to just nibble off or take off. That fish is not going to be stealing as much bait. And uh, yeah, that, that more hookups, baby. 
But I mean, yeah, normally I'll have the one-two punch where basically I'll have a rattle bait on one rod and, a, and whatever jig and presentation another rod. Usually the rattle bait is what will bring them in and then they'll bite on the jig and wrap, or sorry, the jigging presentation on your other rod. Um, like, Lake Winnipeg being a murky lake too, it's good to have a rattle bait. If you have, let's just, let's just have it tipped with a minnow head too, it's going to have both sound and it's going to have the scent. So there's going to be a, a two-way punch in there. And these come in a couple different sizes and colors, like I was saying. These are the 2-inch versions. There are the 2.62 inch ones, but I find this perfect. If you, half the fish I catch, I mean, I'm going to compare it to their mouth, and they swallow it half the time, but look, that's a pretty big meal, you know what I'm saying? Like, big old fish will go for this, little fish will go for it. So I don't, I don't see any reason to upsize. I mean, I have downsized before, but I mean... I don't know, I just prefer these. I feel, I feel these are the perfect happy medium. I have used also rip and wraps before. I just prefer these a little better, but that's just my personal preference. These, you can use them on, I wouldn't go a medium light, medium to medium heavy would be perfect. I mean, it depends on the size. If you go with the 2.62 inch, you're probably gonna wanna lean more towards a medium heavy. You really want something, you don't want You don't want something that's going to be rock solid, but you want something to be a little bit sensitive, but it's going to have that backbone to be able to rip up and down that bait if you're constantly jigging it, ripping it up and down. What I like though too, I mean, I'll be four feet above ice and I'll be able to hear, like, almost feel, not feel, but like hear it. It's, it's weird, it, like, it covers a lot of water, it's very good, brings in a lot of fish and uh, works very well, so. One of the most important things on Lake Winnipeg is the rattle bait. And last, but not least, the jig. For those of you who don't know, the jig is the most versatile and fundamental piece of equipment that you could possibly use while fishing. Comes in assortment of sizes, a bunch of different colors. Personally, I find the 3 8 and the quarter ounce being the best size to use for walleyes. I usually go with the 3 8 ounce. I mean, sometimes if it's a little, if you have a fishing too heavy of a jig and that fish has it in its mouth for a second and it feels it's a little too heavy it's gonna spit it out that's where most of the time a quarter ounce would come in handy but I like the 3 8 ounce because I feel it's more sensitive you can feel it a little bit more I mean medium rod on a jig is more than perfect medium light if you're using a quarter or an eighth or even a sixteenth I wouldn't go that small for all fishing but I mean something like this plastics do not work on Lake Winnipeg with jigs you're gonna have to go minnows one of the most important things when you're fishing with minnows too and most people don't seem to realize this is how fresh it is like how fresh your minnows are are literally night and day you can't cheap out on bait you're gonna want to get them as fresh as possible if they're constantly being frozen and thawed and frozen and thawed they're gonna lose its effect and believe it or not fish are picky towards that sense they're not gonna want to bite something that's been dethawed 17 different times sure it'd be able to fit on a hook still but doesn't mean the fish are gonna be appealed to it but if you're live bait is the best way to go but if you just open a crack, open a pack, um, it's gonna be it's gonna be night and day over crap bait. You don't want to cheap on bait, and if it's getting old, I mean I'll still use the heads for spoons, even if they are a little gross. But I mean still, if you can, if you want to just throw it in the water, use it for chum, bring them in like that. That's not a bad way to do it. I mean, most people will still use it for until they're done. They don't really care how, thought, how fresh it is. I sometimes do that too, but that's just something to keep in mind. If you're not catching fish and you're just seeing them come up on the on the graph and they're going right back down and you're wondering what it is, it's probably your minnows at the end of the day. Alrighty guys, I'm just gonna quickly show off the rods that I like to use. So number one here, oh my God, I got scales all over my rad. Boom, frostbite meat locker. This is it's a 31 medium light. It is graphite. It's not the Vanta Black series, it's the Twilight series. But boy, is this a nice rod. Get that drag set a little looser. Paired up it for reels. It's just the old Fluger. These are the ones that come with the Nighthawks. Has the spool size of about 500 size reel. Like, honestly. Four ball bearings, but I mean, whatever. For my medium light presentation, um, it's more than perfect here. I'm going to get. Uh, the 10 inch butt end instead of the standard 7. I'll order that from Frostbite soon. And boom! Another buckshot on here. Oh, deadly presentation, guys. 
You're gonna want medium lights with your buckshot spoons, especially the smaller sizes. If you're using quarter ounce jigs too, that's gonna be something that you can use. Uh, medium lights, or they found a catch fish one. <laughs> Alrighty, next up guys, this is the medium setup. I don't even know if I'll be able to get this all in frame. Boom, we got the Carbon X 1000, my PC fund, going towards the rod. I don't know if that's in frame. The Run and Gun Rod by Frostbite. This is a 50 inch medium rod. Boy, is this a beautiful rod. Now, this is the, base, I got this at the show. This is basically, I, from what I've heard, this is not the Medallion series, it's not the Twilight series, it's not the Vanta Black series. Those are $180 rods. But I got two for 50 bucks. I think this was their, basically, I don't want to say failed rods that they didn't like but they were basically giving away for nothing. These I think are like the OG original ones, the first batch. I'm not exactly sure though. I got two of them for 50 bucks, so I'm, I mean, I'm really not complaining. But sorry, back to it, medium rod, perfect for most presentations. All, all around, I would go towards a medium, it's the best of both worlds, best happy medium, best bang for your buck. It covers basically everything. Jigs, spoons, I've used rattle baits on it. It's fine, it's just, I mean, it's gonna be a little bit more sensitive, the rod's gonna be bending a little bit more, but mediums for walleye are the go-to 100 percent i mean ice fishing moderate fast extra fast doesn't really matter just use moderate it's fine fast extra fast i mean st croix if you're getting like really expensive rods they're gonna have the extra fast or whatever but half the time it's like a fast or moderate it doesn't really matter medium rods are awesome and last but not least techno this is a fluger trial this is the 20 size wait is this 20 size Sorry, pardon me, moi, the 25 size. Fluger has a little bit weird size reels. The, this is the Tecna. This is the 42. 42, ladies and gentlemen. This is a medium heavy. Recommends about 6 to 10 pound line on the Fluger here. We got Braid. I didn't do this when I was younger, but now I always use Braid. Braid is 100% the way to go, especially if you fish a lot. It's a little bit more money, sure, but you're going to get the most out of it it lasts longer has no stretch way more sensitive you just have to remember to have your fluorocarbon leader i usually have it just going into the reel once it's out of the tip of the rod a little bit if you get what i'm saying always have your fluorocarbon leader very important on here i have my snap and I, this is a rip and wrap actually this is a smaller size but this is not on the list but i mean rattle bait in general i love rattle baits and the snap 100% important. If you're testing out rattle baits and you're trying out different things, the rattle bait is the way to go, boys, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Get no mistake. Make make no mistake about it. Yeah. And the medium heavy rod is just basically for me. If you're using like I was talking about earlier, the one ounce buckshot spoon, a little bit heavier spoons, fishing for bigger fish, you're trying to get that one big one. Uh, if you're ripping rattle baits, the medium heavy will be probably one of your best friends there. But at the end of the day, in my Overall, concludes opinion, medium rod is going to be your best all-around rod. Guaranteed. Well, guys, you made it to the end of the video. That just about covers it. Um, we that That's all you need. That's all you need. I'm saying it right now. Simple as that. Make sure your bait's fresh. Make sure you have your spoons, your jigs, your rattle baits. Bring them in with the rattle bait. Catch them on the jigging presentation. Two rods. Remember, ice fishing can use two rods. And uh, yeah, you're going to balsam. You use this. You use my methods. You're going to catch wealies. I'm, I'm just saying that you're going to catch some wealies. Yeah, guys, that is going to end it off for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to buy some of these products, fishinghole.com. Link in the description. And um, yeah, that just about covers it. If you guys want to check out some of our other videos too, make sure that you guys head over to the rest of the channel here. New logo dropped. Who dis? Yeah, sorry. That's that's cringy. I'm not going to do that. that that's it guys, make sure you guys check out my other videos, make sure you guys give this video a like, comment something if you have any questions, how about the YouTube algorithm, if you guys have any questions, I always get back to the comment section, so don't feel afraid to ask. I'll see you guys in the next one, peace out.